Jennifer and Sarah are going to draw a Halloween unicorn. Yeah, we're going to draw a unicorn popping out of a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yeah. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also drawing on marker paper. This is my favorite brand. It's Canson. And I like this brand because it works really well and it's a pretty good price. So parents, remember if you're using markers, especially our Art for Kids Hub markers, be sure to pick up some marker paper to keep your markers lasting longer. If you're drawing on regular printer paper, your markers will dry out super fast. Okay, now let's draw our unicorn. We're going to start by drawing uh, the little arms or hands or hooves. What are these called? The antennas. <laughs> Those are not antennas. They're <laughs> hooves <laughs> hanging out <laughs> outside of the pumpkin. We're going to draw two U shapes. I'm going to draw about this big for one. And then I'm going to draw another one right next to it that's the same size. Now we're going to draw the hooves or the a little line at the end of each foot or hand. The antennas? No, they're not antennas. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> now we're going to connect the two together right here at the top in the middle. Yeah. And then we're going to draw a curve for the top of the foot or leg coming in and then see how it's curving a little bit inside. And then we'll do the same thing except the other direction for this one. Yeah, now it looks like the leg is coming out and then over the top of our pumpkin. So now we're going to imagine this line going behind the leg and then coming out the side. And we'll do the same thing over here. Imagine this line coming through, going behind, and then coming out the side. Next, let's draw our little unicorn's head. We're going to draw another U shape, but bigger and wider. I'm going to start here and we're going to draw it coming down like this and maybe even come down and touch the legs, and then we're going to come back up over here. Yeah, and if you have a little space, you could add two little lines to connect for the body. Now let's draw our unicorn's hat or witch hat. But I'm going to start here and we're going to draw a curve that goes across the top and connects to the other side. Now let's draw our unicorn's horn. We're going to draw an upside down V shape right here in the middle and slightly above the hat. I know we're kind of jumping around, but it's going to come together towards the end. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I like that your unicorn horn is a little taller. Then we're going to connect the bottom. <laughs> and we could also add little diagonal lines on the horn. Okay, now let's finish the hat. We're going to start right here and we're going to come out of the horn. We'll come over to the edge and then we're going to curve back down like this. Oh, we'll stop there. Let's leave a little space before we connect. Then on this side, we can come over just like we did on the left side. And on this side, we're going to come down and connect. So we left some space here, but over here we connected. Okay, now let's draw another curve right here for the inside. Then let's come over here and we're going to draw the hair. This is why we left a little space for the hat. So we're going to draw an S curve coming down. And then we're going to draw it curving back in and connect to the cheek. Then we can also draw the top of our witch hat. We're going to draw a little curve that comes up here. And let's draw a curve on this side and this side could be a little bit taller. Oh, let's add our unicorns ears. Also, we're going to draw an upside down V here and an upside down V over here. And then we could also draw a little diagonal line inside. Oh, and we can connect the hat line coming into the hair. Okay, now let's draw the top of our unicorns witch hat. We're going to draw a curve coming down. Then we're going to start at the end of the hat. Oh, you already did it. Good job. Then we're going to connect this edge over here to the right side. Now we're going to draw the little belt going across our hat to the other side. 
our unicorn is missing its face. Let's <laughs> let's add we'll add a circle right here for one eye and another circle over here for the other eye. And then we could also draw smaller circles inside of each eye and then color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Then we could also add the cute little smile. And we could also add the little nostrils. <laughs> Mine looks like a pig. <laughs> I think it looks cute. Then we're gonna draw the hair on the forehead. We're gonna draw a curve. And then we'll start here and we'll connect back up to the hat. We did it. Okay, now let's draw our pumpkin. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a line or a curve that comes out over the top. And same thing on this side. Now we're gonna draw our pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern shape and you could draw it really skinny and tall or you could draw it small or you could draw it really wide. It's up to you. I'm gonna draw kind of average size. I'm gonna come down <laughs> like this and then we're gonna curve around and then back to the top. Mine's gonna be flat. I like it. Flat on the bottom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what does our pumpkin need next? The face. Yeah, the face. We could draw a different face too. You could change yours any way you want. I'm gonna draw a little circle for one eye and then another circle for the other eye. And also, I'm gonna add a little tooth for the mouth. Oh, I like your eyes. They kind of look like they're smiling really, really mm -hmm. big. I'm gonna draw my smile. One part's coming out to the side here, and then the other part's coming out over here. Then I'm gonna draw the bottom of the smile coming down, across, and back up. <laughs> Good job. Now this next part for our face is a little more advanced, but you can leave this off to keep the lesson a little easier. We're gonna make our pumpkins look more 3D by adding the inside. Almost like you cut out the circle and you can see the inside of the pumpkin. Because your shape is different, I'll show you how you could do yours a little different. On this side, I'm gonna do it the other way so that it looks 3D. So on yours, you're gonna come down, start here and make a curve that matches. Mm -hmm. And then you can stop at that point and then go straight across. Yes. And then do the same thing on this side, but do, whoop, do it the other way, you're gonna stop right here and then go straight across. Yeah, there you go. And you can do that same trick with any shape to make it look 3D. So now with the mouth, it's a little more tricky. Right here at the top or the tooth at the top, we're gonna draw just a diagonal line from that corner. Yes, and then on this side, we're gonna draw a curve that matches the bottom of our smile all the way over to the other side. And that's it, we made our pumpkin look more 3D. And we're completely done with our drawing. Well, not completely done, we still need to. Color it. Yes, my favorite part. We're gonna speed things up, so remember to pause the video at the end if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our little unicorns, our Halloween unicorns, and they turned out perfect. Did you have fun? Yeah. I love how it looks all colored in, and I especially love the extra bats, and I even added hearts. Oh, and I also added a little tail sticking out to the side. And you could add whatever you want to your drawings. Yeah, even a spooky background. Oh yeah, you could add more pumpkins or even a haunted house. You could pause the video right now to match our drawings. Yeah, and we use markers to color our drawings with, but you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom, like crayons or even colored pencils. Or you could use watercolor. Oh, watercolor would be really fun. I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They both turn out awesome, and I especially love your cute little face. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a Halloween unicorn. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add even more things. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.